Well, it's exactly 10 minutes before 8 o'clock and 10 minutes before we say goodbye to our SABC2 viewers. But remember, after 8 o'clock, we'll be uh, on Channel 404. Like Dumi was saying before the break that we're talking women in aviation. South African women in aviation and aerospace industry is hosting their annual Girl Fly program. Aviation and Space Camp in Mahalisbek once more. Now, this camp is aimed to establish an industry-wide networking platform to connect women in aviation and aerospace. Space. Now, the camp, which started a few days ago, consists of 120 girls. The young women will be afforded an opportunity to be equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills they need in order to prepare themselves for the aviation industry. But to tell us more about the camp, we joined in studio by Fundi Sitebe. She is the communication manager of South African Women in Aviation, and we'll also be talking to Nabila Bayat. Uh, she's one of the learners taking part in this camp. But ladies, good morning to you. And welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Thank morning, you. Morning, Thank you very much indeed for coming through. Now, let me start with you, uh, Fundi. Tell us more about uh, this Girl Fly program. I know it is an annual event. Yes. Thank you so much, Balasa, for the opportunity. And like I was saying to you earlier on, Morning Life has always been absolutely phenomenal in supporting our initiative. This is our third year. And as the organization grew, we realized that the opportunities that were made available to the youth were not very visible around aviation. So we took it upon ourselves to create a platform like this to ensure that at this age where they choose the subjects, they start thinking about careers, that we create that awareness appropriately and we start showing them and making them feel and see aviation in a different light that they would typically not be able to access in their daily lives. And aviation has always been considered a male-dominated sector, isn't it? It is, let me put it bluntly, a boys' club that is untransformed. So this is our way of saying we need to change, we need to transform it, and we need to bring the Nabilas of this world into aviation it's in the numbers. It's certainly got to transform. Now, but Nabila, take us through your experiences the past few days. How has it been? It has been so nice. We've got to learn so many things. They're teaching us to, to just do what we want to do, whether we're female or male. They're just telling us to be who we are and just embrace our, our woman and just do what we love. What have you specifically learned? Um, we learned about aviation and um, how difficult it would be and people would discriminate against you but you shouldn't listen to them and just do what you love no matter what. And then tell us about the activities that you were involved in? The activities, we did paragliding, <laughs> we learned about um, gliding, about uh, planes without engines and all of that and Art air ballooning and drones and all of that. On Wednesday we did that. We got to it. So basically you would say uh, now you uh, viewing the aviation industry in a different uh, perspective before you came to the camp. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, they're making me actually fall more in love with aviation than I originally was. Yeah. So it, uh, it's a career to consider for you? Yes. What grade are you now? I'm in grade 10 now. In grade 10. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, there are 120 girls taking part. How do you go about choosing them? And tell us more about their demographics. So we deliberately said that we are only working with girl learners. And we deliberately said we're going throughout all corners of South Africa. So we've got girls from KZN and not just necessarily Durban, the metropolitan areas. There's girls from, you know, Ladysmith. There's girls from Western Cape. So in the lead up to the camp, we go out on an awareness drive. Um, through the database of schools that we've made connections with over the years. And we just inform them about the camps, uh, make the application forms available. And then after that, we go through a rigorous process of, of selection. And, and I must be very honest that it's quite rigorous in that we want girls that are high performing because the industry, for you to get in there, you have to be somewhat of a high performer. So we're looking at pure maths, um, as, uh, physical science, as well as English um, high marks there. Okay, so basically must they also have interest in aviation or are you trying to bring that interest and unearth it that's not there? Exactly. But so sometimes you don't know about aviation until you're in it. True. So some of the girls already know about aviation and some of them 
we have to be honest, they don't know about aviation. And that's exactly why we exist, to create that opportunity for people to be aware. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for having taken your time out to come to Morning Live this morning. This boys' love must end right here. Yes. Thank you very much. There you have it. Um, we were speaking to Nabila Bayat. She's one of the students. Orlando's taking part in the camp. And we were also talking to Fundi Sitebe. She is the spokesperson for the South African Women in Aviation. Great stuff, I tell you, for women this morning. Right. It's